Please, we need your help. That scumbag stole money from my sister and ran off with it after marrying her. Ma'am, I understand your frustration, but there's little we can do at the moment. But he's a con man, can't you see that? Oh, is that so? Thank you for enlightening us, ma'am. You were naive enough to welcome a stranger in your family. And here you are, lecturing us. Sir, who is this guy? Just the top detective of this precinct. Do you know how much money he took from us? He could be halfway across the world by now. Well, maybe if you had done even a tiny bit of background check, we would have known where to find him. Fine, I'll do it myself. I will find his whereabouts. I know where he was born. Bansan. Riley, please don't get yourself into more trouble trying to catch him. I'm fine with what Ronnie did, but I don't want to lose you. Don't worry, sis. I'll handle it. I will show that detective that I am not naive. Who is that detective? Did he hurt your ego? Yeah, he called me naive. You were naive enough to welcome a stranger in your family. Poor guy must be having a bad day. <laughs> Wait, why are you defending him? Because I know you. You won't rest until you prove him wrong. Look, Ronnie may have had his own problems. He took some of my money, but it's not worth ruining our future over. How can you say that? I can't just let him get away with it. Maybe we should just let it go. Our parents left us enough to live comfortably. No way. Detective, what are you doing here? Are you following me? No. I just happen to be waiting for the same bus as you. But if you want me to follow you, I can do that as well. Do you ever give a straight answer? Only when it's necessary. Okay, okay, don't look that way. You told us about Ronnie's background, right? Fine. I'll do it myself. I will find his whereabouts. I know where he was born. Bansan. I was born in Bansan. And if this con artist Ronnie is from there too, I have a better chance of catching him. You could have told me that at the police station. Come on, now board this bus. The next one isn't until two days from now. Your Ronnie could be anywhere by then. Are you making fun of me? So what's your story, Riley? Why are you so determined to catch this guy? Why do you care? And why are you sitting next to me? I'm starting to regret coming on this trip with you. Then don't talk to me. You called me naive, and now here you are sitting next to me. Easy there, Tiger. I'm just trying to figure out why you're so invested in this case. Why are you so interested all of a sudden? You didn't even have time until yesterday for this case. Let's just say something about this case caught my eye. Or someone... Me? Don't flatter yourself, but now that we're stuck on a long bus ride together, why don't you tell me your story? Fine. My sister and I lost our parents at an early age, and I promised them I would always protect her. When Ronnie took advantage of her kindness, I felt like I failed. So you feel guilty? Guilty? Please, he's lucky I haven't tracked him down yet and taken matters into my own hands. Well, lucky for him, you have a detective by your side. Good morning, Tigress. Wake up. Good morning. Have we reached? Yes, thanks for waking up my sleeping beauty. You slept on my shoulder all night and now I can't feel my arm. Wow, this place is amazing. I know. That's the reason I'm here with you. How can someone from this beautiful town be a con artist? So that's the reason he is here. And I was thinking he is... Let's just say something about this case caught my eye. Or someone... Hi, Ryan. Hi, Mom. Why did you come to pick me up? I could have come on my own. No way. My son is finally coming home after three years. Of course, I had to be here to welcome you. Looks like it's just you here. Where's Dad? You know how he is. But hey, who's that girl? Oh, her. That's Riley. She's with me. Oh, your girlfriend. That's great. Riley, welcome to the family. No, no, no. Ryan, what's going on? Why am I suddenly your girlfriend and meeting your family? It's a bit of a mix-up. My mom got a little too excited because she's never seen me with a girl before. Wait, are you gay? What? No, not at all. Uh, I've just been too busy to date anyone. Okay, but when are we going to clear things up with your family? Never. What? Why not? Hear me out, it's actually a genius plan. My family has been nagging me to find someone for ages now. 
So if we pretend to date for a few days, they'll leave me alone and we can use this time to find Ronnie. Me? Your girlfriend? Don't worry, Tiger. It'll only be for a few days. And you can stay at my place while we search for Ronnie. Fine. But hurry up and help me find this guy. Yes, my princess. Well, we talked to a lot of people today, but no one knows who Ronnie is. Are you sure you heard right that he's from Bansan? Yes, Ryan, I'm positive. Okay, I'll reach out to the local police station tomorrow and see what they know about him. All right, well, I'm going to head to the local market for some sightseeing. Wait, why are you leaving me? I mean, don't you want to come with me to a party tonight? What party? My friends are throwing to welcome me. Please come, it'll be fun. You're telling me this last minute? And I have to go as your fake girlfriend? Come on, Riley, you've been great so far, I promise. I will take you to market tomorrow and buy whatever your heart desires. Fine. But only because you promised me a shopping spree. That's my princess. Wow, that is exhausting. I haven't been to a party in ages. Tell me about it. Who knew talking to so many people could be so tiring? Want to get out of here and go somewhere quiet? Yes, please. This is such a gorgeous view. Yeah, let's sit down. I used to come here to escape my parents fighting. So, you only come here alone? Well, I wouldn't say alone. I have my trusty beer as company. But why not bring friends or girlfriend? Nobody has earned the privilege of seeing this secret spot yet. Ooh, am I special then? Let's just say you've passed the first test. Wow. So am I getting a special badge or something? Let's stop talking about it. I am a little drunk right now. Oh, wow. Now's my chance. Do you like me? When did you start liking me? Slow down there, Riley. Let's just enjoy the peace for now. Fine, just for today. Ryan, somebody is knocking the door. Good morning, princess. Wait, what happened last night? Why I am in your room? You don't remember. Ryan, please come. Somebody is waiting for you. It's my mom. Let's get ready. Ryan, what's happening? Why they have taken your cousin in the custody? What? Which cousin? Hello, detective. We found Ronnie. We would need Miss Riley to come and give a statement against him. Thank you, officer. She will be there soon. Ryan, what's going on? Why did the police take your cousin? I don't know who you were talking about, Mom. He's your aunt's son, Ryan. You used to play together as kids. Long time back, he moved away for school. Ronnie is my cousin? But why does Riley have to go to the station, too? Mom, I have to tell you something. Riley, I'm sorry. I don't know exactly why Ronnie did what he did. But please, can you and your sister drop the charges? I'm sorry, but no. This guy insulted my family. We welcomed him with open arms and this is how he repays us? I won't let him off that easily. Riley, please. Not here. Ryan, my job is done here. I'll go to the police station and then head back home. Riley, wait. That's not what I meant. Ryan, let her go. Will he come? Wait, why do I even care? I don't need him. I just wanted to prove a point, and I did. Oh, he came. Why are you smiling? Because it looks like you were waiting for me. No way. Why would I wait for you? There are no buses for the next two days. Fine. I will stay in a hotel. You know I won't let you go alone and search for hotels. Please, Ryan. I don't want to stay at your place. Your cousin is involved and your mom thinks I'm wrong. I know she's wrong, but he's family. And his mother is in the hospital. He was too ashamed to ask us for money, and this was his desperate attempt to get some. He'll pay it back. So what do you expect me to do? Drop the charges? No, just come with me. We'll figure something out. Why are you doing this? 
because you're my girlfriend and I can't stand the thought of you being alone right now. You say something. Don't be so sweet to me. I might cry. Come here, my princess. I've decided to drop the charges. My pride isn't more important than you. You don't have to do that. I don't want your mom to hate your girlfriend. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked the story. Please show us some love. Subscribe to our channel and watch the next story.